Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. Today with another video about Istanbul because I felt like you liked my Istanbul videos the most and they also got the most attention in the past. So I thought today I'll talk a bit about the best district to live in in Istanbul. This is of course all based on my personal experience. I'm sure there are people who will not agree with me or people will uh, be upset that I did not uh, name their favorite district and um, yeah so just keep in mind that this is like really my personal opinion about uh, living in Istanbul. So I will be talking about the different neighborhoods that I prefer to live in because I think only talking about the districts is very very general because uh, the districts in Istanbul are huge, they stretch across many many kilometers and uh, yeah if somebody tells you they live in uh, Beşiktaş or in Şişli for example then it's usually really hard to tell where exactly they live because uh, yeah as I said those districts are huge. So starting with Şişli as a district it is very central, you have uh, metro stations there, everything you need, lots of malls but within Şişli my favorite neighborhood is Nishantashi, I have talked about this in my previous videos already. Nishantashi is just like really European, it has lots of nice places, people are also very uh, open mind that many people speak English. It is not too touristy, there are some tourists but uh, not as many as Taksim for example. Nishantashi is kind of a place for young people I would say but also foreigners are living there what I have realized because it's just like yeah really like open-minded place, a lot of different people. You actually feel like you're in Europe kind of. But the downsides of Nishandashi are that there's almost always traffic, the streets are very narrow and that's why it comes to traffic really fast. And it's kind of crowded, there are always people outside. Yeah, I can imagine if you live somewhere in the uh, main streets then it will be always noisy. Another popular district in Shishli is Bomonti. It is developing during the last years. It also has a lot of cool places like Bomonti Ada for example, which is kind of a place with different pubs and cafes and uh, sometimes they have some concerts there for example. Also rent is quite cheap in Bumonti. They have built a lot of new residences there and you can have a quite a comfortable life in Bumonti. So coming to the district of Besiktas. Um, Besiktas is a huge district. Uh, most of the neighborhoods are close to the water. So I think my favorite neighborhood in Besiktas is Bebek. It is a very exclusive uh, neighborhood with a lot of nice places like restaurants and cafes. It has a beautiful view on the Bosporus and uh, the architecture of those buildings is very unique and uh, just really beautiful and whenever you are in Istanbul you should definitely go to see Bebek. I think that Bebek is really one of the most beautiful districts but the downsides to Bebek are that there is usually a lot of traffic especially during the summer when people come there only for a couple of hours. Yeah, also there is no metro station close. Uh, the next metro station would be in Etiler which is uh, a couple of kilometers uphill and um, yeah it is usually really hard to reach this metro metro station so yeah if you live in Bebek you will usually uh, need a car or you will uh, need a taxi to get anywhere. Another beautiful neighborhood is Etiler. Etiler is really close to Levent and uh, Bebek. It is usually for families I would say it is a bit more quiet and it also has less traffic. Um, it is a bit more relaxed but still kind of high quality. That is Etiler, also a really beautiful place to live. Close to Etiler is Levent. Levent is kind of a, a financial and business district. You see lots of skyscrapers and businessmen on the street but behind all those skyscrapers there are like those small back streets where uh, those people usually live. There are houses with gardens, small streets with lots of trees and like kind of really a really calm and relaxed atmosphere, like almost no cars. It's also really safe, there are lots of security buildings in every street. So if you would for example like to live somewhere in the center of Istanbul but still want to live in a house with a garden then I think Levent is a really nice option. So another beautiful residential area in Besiktas is a Gayre Tepe. Gayre Tepe is very close to there are lots of nice residences and uh, newly built houses and you will still be kind of in the center of Istanbul. Gayretepe also has its own metro station 
and it's usually really easy to get to anywhere from Gaia Tepe. The only thing about Gaia Tepe is that there's not really a lot to do, there's no real center where people are meeting for example. Of course there are some small cafes and places where you could have breakfast but yeah it's not like those other neighborhoods where you can see lots of people on the street and one cafe after the other one. Yeah it's like just really really residential. Another popular place in Besiktas is Akaretler. It is kind of considered as the center of Besiktas. Um, there are a lot of restaurants, cafes and kind of like the nightlife. Uh, you see a lot of people on the streets, especially young people, students. In general, I would say that uh, Akaretner or Besiktas uh, around that area is really good for students and young people. You can find uh, the craziest cafes and uh, lots of really nice places where you can meet your friends. You are close to the Bosporus, to the pier in Besiktas. Yeah, there's a lot to do for young people. The rent is also quite cheap, but uh, buildings are quite old around that area. A downside to the area of Akaretler is that there's no metro station. The next metro station would be in Osman Bay, but uh, Osman Bay is quite far away. Uh, it is maybe like two, three kilometers by foot. So it does not really make sense to go to Osman Bay to take the metro from there. So you will probably have to rely on the bus and uh, other public transportation or also the taxi. But yeah, in general, I think that Besiktas is a really nice area for uh, young people. Now coming to Beolu, where also Taksim is. Beolu is kind of considered as the center of Istanbul, I would say. Uh, most consulates are there. Beolu has all the most important institutions and uh, yeah, lots of people are working there, lots of expats are uh, living and working there. In Beolu I can recommend Jihangir. Jihangir is a very nice neighborhood, very popular among expats. A lot of Foreigners are living there, um, but also young people, um, artists, it is very diverse. It is also kind of more European, I would say. It also has lots of nice places, it's a very beautiful uh, neighborhood. What I've also heard of expats living in Jihangir is that there's quite some criminality, not a lot, but you hear of it sometimes, like burglary or theft. And that is just something that I've heard of people living in Jihangir. Another nice district in Istanbul is Sarier. It is really green and lots of nature and uh, there are also a lot of neighborhoods which are close to the Bosporus. It is a bit further away from the troubles of uh, Istanbul, like not so much traffic and uh, yeah, it's just nice to live in a kind of more calm area, let's say. You don't feel like you're living in Istanbul because you're like so far away from the city center. But yeah, if you have a car or you don't have to go somewhere like every day, then Sarajevo can also be really nice. I like especially Tarabia. Tarabia was actually the first place that I visited in Istanbul when I came to Istanbul the first time in 2015. And I was blown away by the beauty of uh, Tarabia. You really feel like you're on vacation. There's beautiful Bosporus and beautiful nature and architecture looks really nice. And you see people just taking walks next to um, the water. And yeah, in summer, it's really nice to visit uh, Tarabia. And I can imagine that for living, it is also very beautiful. Just it's a bit further away from the city center and it will take you like maybe an hour by a car to um, go to the city center. Another nice neighborhood of Sarajevo is Maslak. Maslak also has a lot of newly built residences, high skyscrapers. So if you see yourself living like above the clouds of Istanbul and like kind of want to be far away from all this traffic and all these crowds and you just want to like watch them from above, then maybe Maslak can be a really nice place for you to live. One of my favorite places in Istanbul is also the Asian side, especially Kadıköy is very beautiful for living. When you will come to the Asian side of Istanbul, you will see that it is so much more relaxed, the streets are so much bigger, there are a lot of new buildings which were built during the last years. But yeah, I feel like Kadıköy is actually one of the perfect places to live in Istanbul if you don't have to work on the European side, because if you will have to travel every day to the European side and back, it will be a lot of stress for you because there's always traffic it is hard to pass the Bosporus bridge because yeah like there's just lots of traffic if you have to work on the European side of Istanbul I would not recommend you to live 
in Kadeke, but if uh, you are free uh, to work from wherever you are or you work on the Asian side, then I can only recommend you to live in Kadeke, especially in Moda or in Bostanji or anywhere close to the Bada Chetesi, which is kind of a shopping street with uh, lots of shops and cafes and restaurants and there's always something going on and uh, you will definitely not be bored to live in Kadeke. Also the rent in Kadeke is pretty low comparing to the rent on the European side. So if you have the chance to live on the Asian side then uh, yeah, I can only recommend you to move to Kadeke. So yeah, that's about it with my favorite uh, neighborhoods of Istanbul to live in. Of course, these are not the only nice neighborhoods to live in in Istanbul, but these are my personal favorites. These are the districts that I would like to live in by myself. Uh, yeah, so I hope I could help you a little bit. And if you like this video, then leave it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!